Hey, thanks for clicking on my video. Seb Heslow here. So if you've just started mining or if you've recently moved over from something like NiceHash to direct mining with, for example, T-Rex Miner, and you're sort of confused by when do I get my payments and what, what are mining pools, then you're gonna wanna watch this whole video because I'm gonna explain all of that stuff in really like plain and easy to understand English. So stick around. All right, so on my video about how to mine with T-Rex, which if you haven't seen that uh, link in the description, um, I got a lot of comments from people that were sort of confused about, well, when do I get my payments? And you know, I haven't seen any money show up in my wallet yet. And the, the thing you need to realize is that NiceHash is actually three things. It's not just one thing. So you have your mining software, you have your mining pool, and you have your coin wallet, right? So for example, an Ethereum wallet. And NiceHash is all of those three at the same time. So it has its own little ecosystem of you have the NiceHash mining software in which you get paid to your NiceHash wallet and you mine together with all the other people in the NiceHash pool. Well, once you start mining like for real, you have to pick all of these three things yourself and you need to handle those three things separately. And the reason for why we do this is because it's safer. So let's say, for example, with NiceHash, your Bitcoin wallet on NiceHash is actually not your wallet. It is just a sub wallet to NiceHash's master wallet. And that is why things like the hack that happened a few years ago could happen, where basically all of the mined Bitcoin on NiceHash was stolen. So hopefully that explains why keeping the three things separated is better for just the safety and security of your mined coins and your profit. So now let's talk about the three different things, the mining software, the mining pool and your wallet and how they relate to each other and what all three of them are. So first of all, you got your mining software, which is something like, for example, T-Rex. Now what T-Rex does is it is only a program on your computer that does the mining calculations on your graphics cards. That is basically it. So then you need to connect the T-Rex mining software to the pool, the mining pool of your choice. So for example, with something like Ethermine or Flexpool. Now what, what a mining pool is, is it's miners from all over the world go getting together and saying, since we only get rewarded once we hit a block, you know, what we're gonna do is we're all gonna mine together and when someone hits a block, we're all gonna share in those rewards instead. So the reason why you'd wanna do that is because if you mine on your own, finding a block is gonna be near to impossible. It, like the odds for that are so low. However, if there's a hundred thousand of you, you can be pretty certain that people are gonna find a block here and there quite regularly. And once they do, you all share in the block rewards, which are the payments that you're getting for doing the mining calculations on your computer. And again, those mining calculations are done in the T-Rex miner on your computer or any other mining software like the T-Rex miner. And so what happens is on your mining pool is they accumulate the coin rewards that you earn through mining. So you will see your balance increase on the dashboard for your pool. And what and how it works is you know, they can't send you every fraction of a fraction of a coin that you mine. So what all pools have is they have a sort of minimum threshold that you need to reach before they send you a payout to your wallet. And I think that's what many of you were confused about in my previous video. The payouts to your wallet is not handled by the T-Rex software. Like that's just a piece of software that runs on your computer. The payouts are handled by your mining pool, like for example, Ethermine. And what happens is as you run the mining software on your computer, you accumulate, you know, 
some mining rewards, like the coins you're mining, like some Ethereum, for example. And once you hit the threshold, the payout threshold on your pool, your pool will send that amount to your Ethereum wallet, or if you're mining any other coin to that wallet, right? So what you need to do is you need to go to the website for your pool and you need to enter your wallet address in the like little search bar and you should be able to get a dashboard up on the website where it keeps track of things like your current hash rate, how many shares you've solved, as well as how much you know Ethereum or any other coin that you're mining you have accumulated and it will also show you how long until your next payout or rather how much more you need to mine before you've met the threshold and with most mining pools you can also set what you want that payout threshold to be and many pools will have a tiered system so for example if you mine let's say 0.1 ethereum they'll pay you immediately as soon as you hit it but if you mine less than that let's say maybe 0.05 ethereum they'll pay you every week and if you mine even less than that like let's say 0. 01 ethereum they'll pay you once every two weeks now that example i'm using now is how it works mining on ethermine so if you're mining on ethermine that's how often you'll get paid and of course the third thing is your coin wallet which if you're mining ethereum for example that will be an ethereum wallet and your wallet uh, not only is it what actually holds your coins and that ho holds your coins specifically right uh, it is also the way you connect your mining software like T-Rex Miner with the pool you want to mine to, for example, Ethermine. So what you do is in your mining software, you enter both the pool you want to mine to and the wallet address of your coin wallet. So then what your mining software like T-Rex Miner will do is it will send a message as you start it up to your pool, for example, Ethermine, and say, hey, Ethermine, this person here with this wallet address is now mining on your pool. And then Ethermine will see that and they will create a dashboard for you on their web page where you can track your mining and your profits and your earnings. All right, so let me show you what I mean. So you've got your T-Rex miner downloaded here, right? and you right click on the preset most close to what you're gonna do. So if you wanna mine Ethereum with Ethermine, you right click on that and you hit edit. So this is the same steps as we did in the previous video, right? And you add your closest Ethermine server here. Um, and then you add your own wallet address here, yeah? And then you X and you save. Then what you gotta do, or rather then what you can do, is you go to is you go to ethermine.org and down here you paste your wallet address. And then right here you'll see all of your mining stats. So up here, you can see how much you've mined so far. And you can also see on this little line under here, how far you've come. Like once that gets filled, they will send you your payout to your wallet, yeah? And what you can also do is you can click up here where it says dashboard, and you can click payouts. And here you'll see how often and what kind of payouts you'll get. So as we can see here, it's expecting the next payout for the person with this particular wallet to get another payout in 13 hours. And you can also see here all of the payouts it's had, yeah? And what you can also do is you can go in here and you can hit settings and in here, it will let you add a email address for notifications if that's something you want you don't have to and you can also change 
your minimum payout threshold. So what that means is you can change this and the minimum is 0.1. And that means that as soon as you've mined a full 0.1 Ethereum, it will immediately send that to your wallet. I hope this clears things up. There's also, if you click here, you can read even more about Ethermine's payout policy. So in summary, there are three things you need to keep track of. Your mining software, your mining pool, and your coin wallet. So the mining software is just something like T-Rex Miner. It's just a piece of software that does the mining calculations on your computer. You have your mining pool, which is what handles your payouts and things like that. And then you have your wallet, which is where your payouts will end up once you've reached the minimum payout threshold for your pool. And if this has been helpful to you, then please give the video one of these. I really appreciate it. And what you gotta do now is you gotta click on one of the videos on the screen because this video is over. You can also click on my face to subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate that. But yeah, go click on that next video and I'll see you over there. Goodbye. Bye bye.